Hey there, my name is Promise. Welcome to more Surviving Mars in New Warsaw. We are growing, not rapidly, but, you know, more intentionally, I would say. We've got our second dome, Kiesol, over here. Kiesol? I'm not sure how to pronounce that precisely. I do apologize for that. But regardless, it's starting to get around. We have an education system set up now. We've actually managed to fulfill all needs immediately. Gonna start preemptively training up some geologists, if at all possible, but we will see. The big thing that that's killing me right now is still our birth rate, which shocks me. Considering we have such extremely high comfort rating, I would have thought that we were in really good shape, but apparently not quite yet. Service buildings are full, shopping, dining. Yeah, we don't have enough shifts and stuff of people working some of these things, like the grocer, like the diner, and so on, electronics. No more non-specialized workers is kind of a problem. I'm gonna temporarily turn off the security station since we have no renegades. Let them go work literally anywhere else for a little bit. And hopefully we can start fulfilling some of those needs and keep the comfort nice and high. But we need more births. I don't care if they're non-specialized. We just need to have a lot more. The other thing that we're really starting to get worried about is going to be things like metals. Uh, we are running out pretty rapidly. My transport is going to be running around and trying to grab some additional sources. And there are at least a bit left. So, you know, this big pile right here will keep us going for a while. But pretty soon we're going to run out and we don't have any nearby supplies. Our options come down to placing down some outpost domes, which we've done in the past, and one right here could probably reach all four of these. This becomes a geologist outpost, and we just have people start producing a stupid amount of metals and shipping them back, or uh, we're going to have to set up some trains. Trains could be kind of fun. That is sort of one of the points of this whole DLC, right? You build a giant train network that goes all the way here and set up the mines, and people just work in this general area, and then boom, we're fine. Uh, you just have to protect the dang tracks. It could be a cheaper solution than getting shuttles, because otherwise we're not going to have a very easy time of getting people over where I need them to go. But, I don't know. We'll see. I'm still hoping that if we do the deep scanning tech, we might discover a deep metal deposit in this area, and that will save our bacon for a while. If not that, then maybe some more rare metals. Because that's our only other current solution, is to just keep getting metals and sending them to Earth and using the money to buy stuff. But that's not a great position to be in, so I'm hoping to find another way out. And our next disaster, another dust storm. It's fine, it's fine, we've seen these before, we should be able to handle it. Got three children right now. As long as I keep seeing that children number staying constant around two or three, I feel like we'll eventually start to catch up. But yeah, the lack of people working basic service jobs is absolutely going to become a big problem because comfort will start to drop pretty rapidly from there. It doesn't help that we have four people sitting in the sanatorium right now, right? We're trying to get rid of some of the perks. We're making some difficult and painful uh, investments now that will hopefully pay off in a big way later on. Here come some of the geologists. Get them out of university. Go have them work some other random jobs. I don't really care which. I don't care if they're specialized. Just go and do some dang work. I am kind of surprised how bad our polymer situation has been. I mean, it seems like we should be producing way more than we are consuming. I don't have an art store or anything else that's just eating it all up. So I'm sort of surprised this is not doing a lot better than it is right now. She's making about 3.5 per soul. I mean, yeah, if I can free up some additional workers, I'll happily send them out here. But there you go. Another anomaly found with a breakthrough! Oh my god, please be amazing! Let's go find it! Ancient terraforming device. Uh, that's not gonna help us right now, is it? No, instantly gain 20% in all terraforming parameters. I mean... It is good, right? I'm trying to remember what the exact thresholds are. Somewhere around the line, it's like when you get a certain amount of atmosphere, the um, there are certain kinds of disasters that go away, but it creates other ones and blah, blah, blah. Ah, where is it? Is 20% going to get me to any of those thresholds that matters? I just looked it up. Not really. Um, I mean, it will reduce the impact of almost all natural disasters, which is good. Uh, and also more water and stuff makes moisture evaporators better, blah, blah, blah. There are some reasons to do this. But you need to get to like 25% temperature in order to get liquid water on the planet and so on. Which can be nice. You need more atmosphere. Um, I think we're just shy of creating toxic rains, so that's a thing. But yeah, I don't know. It is a thing I like to do. The reason I would consider holding off is because um, vegetation is very difficult to get to 100%. Very difficult, in fact, and I'm pretty sure it's impossible. Not by just seeding the planet. It should be, but it's not. You get to like, what is it, 50, 60% or so, and then it just kind of stops. The only way to get to 100% 
is just to do a whole bunch of seeding missions through the planet and your rockets. Which is really dumb, but that's how it is. So that last 20% would be kind of nice. But we kind of have more important things to worry about, you know what I mean? So, eh. And a meteor shower's on the way too. Sure, why not? It's totally fine. There goes all my stuff. Oh, it's not even just a normal dust storm. It's an electromagnetic dust storm. Electrostatic, sorry, not electromagnetic. That'd be a totally different thing. Very scary. No, I was just gonna randomly shut down random electronics and stuff. That's good. Okay, deep scanning is done. Good, let's zoom back out over here and say, hey, let's start scanning the area around me again. See if you can find anything of immediate use. Preferably, even if it's not um, right next to me, if I can find like some underground metals or something that's still close, I mean, that's a much shorter train trip. I'd rather invest in that. Good news is we do scan fairly quickly because I got like seven of these sensor towers up and running right now. Which like might be overkill, I don't know, but there we go. Okay, we found underground rare metals. Now that's another 1200 source right there. Okay, this is good. It's not what I need, but it's good. I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, researching some basic train tech. Nothing is absurd, very cheap techs right now. But for example, I should now have uh, easier to repair and safer tracks and stuff like that. Trains will travel faster, no longer getting a comfort penalty. All of that stuff would be nice. So we're just gonna pick these up. They're very quick, they're very cheap. Let's do that. Another thing we could do is research the shuttle tech. Um, and if I start producing a lot of fuel, this becomes a fairly attractive option for me. Could also look at getting things like the triple electric scrubbers. I do like these. They reduce maintenance on outside buildings by an absolute ton. Hey, that's the deep metal and rare metal deposit extraction tech we're gonna need too. So all of that becomes very, very relevant for me. Um, yeah, we got a lot of things we need pretty quick right now. Wish I had a lot more scientists. Population's growing, by the way. We have four kids now. Yes, yes, have babies, be fruitful, multiply. I'm gonna buy myself another RC commander, by the way. I'm just kind of anticipating if I have to use trains, I'm going to want something that is mobile and able to get some drones around. Could see that being kind of helpful. And yeah, let's go ahead and buy a handful more metals. This is expensive. Oh God, a cold wave. I don't have enough water stored up for things like this. All right, hang on. We're okay, we're okay, we're okay. But like, I'm, I'm going to start consuming too much water. We're gonna have to shut a bunch of things down. Let's go ahead and preemptively shut down the polymer factory and let people go do what they need to do. This is one of the reasons we keep running out of polymers. We're not allowed to actually produce anything, gosh dang you. All right, we scanned everything around us and found absolutely zero nearby deposits. Well, that sucks. Okay, uh, well, um, yeah, no, that actually is just, that just straight out sucks. We have a lot of food. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off one of these farms temporarily. Forget this for a little bit. It's just consuming too much water. Can't afford it. On the plus side, we're up to five kids. No seniors left. All right, that's 25. Yeah, it's slowly growing up. There will come a point where we hit a critical mass, and it's not going to be that hard to maintain births. It's definitely the early game that suffers with this the most. I say early game. We're 117 <laughs> souls into the game already. Oh, man. Total recall. My whole elf, I felt like I got Mars. Okay, um... Coordinates where his little craft would land. Oh, fine. I'll accept your, uh, Quaid expedition. Please tell me this isn't Metatron. I don't know if it is. It might be the event. What planetary anomalies could we do that actually would help? We could go do the Quaid expedition. What does this actually do? I'm kind of scared. Well, I'm gonna do it anyway. Because it might be amazing for us. I don't know. I feel like I've seen this one before. My memory is not what it used to be on this game. Um, but I, I feel like it wasn't that bad. Eh, well, whatever. We're going to find out in a little bit. Almost done with a little bit more tech, by the way. Gene adaptation. What else do we want to do, then? That's a great question. Um, prob... Ooh, we could go for the uh, meteor defense system. That would be a bad plan. Um, let's go ahead and start working on the deep metal extraction tech. You can see that being very useful. Let's get the triple electric scrubbers. Let's get the... We could actually research how to do moisture vaporators now. Water conservation. There's a lot of really high-end techs that would be great. We could also just knock out some of the terraforming, and actually I'll just do this first, just to make the um, natural disasters a little bit easier to manage. And also to start producing a bit of extra water. I'm surprised how well we've been able to survive without a single water deposit, Research honestly. Complete. I feel like we've been doing okay. All right, gene adaptation is great. We can start swapping away from things like potatoes and um, soybeans. Start moving toward corn and fruit trees. 
Douglas Quaid, come in. The vibration shook the entire colony. The expedition is delayed. Oh, gosh dang it, Quaid. Five of my people are gone helping you on this. I hope they're freaking okay. Gosh, almost a seven soul cold wave? I mean, we're fine, but like, ow, dude, ow. The artifacts. Douglas Quaid reporting in. The expedition team is alive. Thank God. Seems like something out of a movie. We found an immense alien artifact with some cool stuff. Water deposits, metal deposits, and rare metal deposits. Oh, God. Uh, I really want the rare metals because I feel like in the long term, this is the best call, but we need metals. Reveal new metal deposits, please. Did we get anything nearby? Uh, well, we got one over here. 25,000 metals. All right, that's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> um, all right. Well, there's a lot of metals on the map now. Getting to them is still a bit of a trick, but considering a normal deposit has like 700 metals and these apparently each have 25,000. Jeez, dude. All right. Uh, if we can get a train set up, we're set on metals for the rest of the game. Well, not the rest of the For a long freaking time. We never need to import this stuff again. God, I can only imagine if we had gotten five rare metal deposits. 125,000 rare metals on the planet. We would also have been set for life on that one. That would be great. But like, I just, I feel like my existential threat is the metals. The rare metals is not that big of a deal. You want it, but it's not that big of a deal. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why on earth are any middle-aged people in the Bengal fields? Jeez the freaking wheeze. I'm glad I checked this. You're not allowed to be here. Hold the frick on. Okay. Uh, we were about to lose three childbearing colonists for no reason whatso freaking ever. Move. Yeah, we're actually about to lose one. You're deceased. Oh my god. What the frick happened there? All right, I'm starting to think that the landing pad needs to go somewhere else um, so that it's not within walking distance of the gosh dang Bengal fields. For frick's sake. I guess it's because we technically did discourage adults and middle age from being here. I did that because I want youths to live here specifically in order to go to education, but all right, fair enough. Given a choice between two domes where they're not supposed to go and uh, not being within walking distance of the medium dome, they decided to go here. All right, lesson learned. This is one of the hazards of the whole, like, we won't walk as far without a train. That's one of those learning lessons. All right, fair enough, fair enough. We will place this here, that way this never happens again. Another technology I can work on that would really help me, besides getting a little bit more comfort, is stem reconstruction. What this does is it delays retirement. People will live a bit longer. And if they're not considered to be seniors, I think that's how it works, by the way. It's not that seniors will work, it's that it delays when someone becomes uh, a middle-aged person becomes like a senior, right? And the longer they're middle-aged, I think also increases the chances for them to have kids. I might be wrong on this, but I am pretty sure that this just also translates into an increased birth opportunity. So we finished off with some of the concrete over here. All right, that was actually a pretty small deposit, but it actually makes my life a little bit easier. One thing I'm kind of proud of is we were able to actually stock up another 600 concrete. So we went from having um, kind of a bit of a problem to really plenty of the stuff. Two concrete extractors, one uh, RC commander, and a little bit of micro on my end. Does the job. Uh, finally, that cold wave comes to an end. Good lord. Yeah, well, we'll see how much the 20% uh, impacts things like that later on. We could start working on some greenhouse gas factories. I don't have a ton of excess fuel, but I do feel like this is one of the hardest ones to get up. It takes a very long time, and it's just it's just generally really good to have high temperature. Atmosphere also is rough, though, because you end up losing a lot of atmosphere because we don't have a proper magnetic field around Mars, not the same way we do here on Earth. So you have to invest an absolute ton to just maintain a high atmosphere. It's doable, just expensive, late game opportunities and stuff. It's just the earlier you can start terraforming, the benefits really can be substantial. They can be absolutely massive, to be honest. It just, it's very expensive to do. But you know, overall, I'd say we're doing really well right now. We've got plenty of other parts and stuff. I've turned off the electronics, which is the only reason it's going down, but otherwise we're doing good. We've got a fair number of rare metals to work with. Population is growing. We're up to 27 with no seniors now. That's good. We're making lots of money sending things back to Earth. Our science is finally starting to pick up, so we're able to start getting some key techs out of the way. And people are generally pretty darn happy and comfortable. 
So, yeah, I, you know, as slow as this is right now, slow and steady, I think we're doing really well for ourselves. I'm even gonna send some people to go on a few more planetary breakthroughs. Sorry, I keep saying breakthroughs, anomalies. We have specializations, which means now I can send my people, like an officer in this case, to go and scan something and get a little bit of free science. And if we can finish off STEM reconstruction even faster, that just means that we can start building up our population even faster. See, that's 3,500 more science. We couldn't do things like that before. The education is already paying off. Boom, STEM reconstruction. Okay, so stay in your middle ages a bit longer, folks. Oh, but I was this close to retirement. Not anymore, you're not. <laughs> we are sitting on so much food, by the way. Good Lord. <laughs> Don't know what I was worried about. Um, the farms are doing phenomenal work. We'll just keep stockpiling this. It never expires. That's the wonderful magic of space. It's all like vacuum sealed or something, right? Pretty sure that's how it works. You know one thing that would be nice to get? A technology that lets me get the medium fuel refinery. This is one of those modded techs. Um, apparently it gets you more fuel with less water. So not only is it more water efficient, but I could use a lot more fuel, especially if I am gonna go for any of the greenhouse gas stuff. Population's now up to 31, more kids, no seniors. There we go, easy does it. Something doesn't add up from the production data. Oh, the efficiency report shows the production is way below expected amounts. Um, the automation was a problem. Lose comfort, gain 10 morale, or risk the workers become lazy. I don't want to do this, but it's only going to affect four workers and we have a sanatorium that can get rid of it. Curious if that actually, yep, there's one lazy, there's lazy, there's lazy, they all became lazy. Great. All right, everyone report to the sanatorium. We're going to teach you how to be hard workers again. Honestly, if there's anything I'm kind of running into right now, it's um surprisingly boredom. <laughs> it's just a weird thing to say, but like, I have a lot of water and oxygen storage. I have decent power produ uh, production and a way of getting a lot more. My machine parts are skyrocketing. I may honestly want to consider turning this off for a bit, and I think I will to preserve some metals, but you get the idea behind some of that. And um, all we're kind of doing around right now is sitting and waiting for some technology to come through, something really good. I don't think that the Metatron um, mystery is gonna fire for a while. If I recall correctly, you need something like a hundred colonists before it's going to fire. And while we're definitely doing a lot better than we were, we're at to 32, so that's a huge improvement from the uh, beginning of this video. Sorry, 33. Um, it's still gonna be a while, you know? It's gonna be a while before we have to worry about that. I could literally just sit here with what I've got right now, and for the most part, we're going to be good. Not got an infinite amount of rare metals, but I have nearby supplies. Not got an infinite number of metals, but I found a source that will last me for the rest of the game, and I have a way of getting to it, right? So there's a lot of cool stuff going on here, and now I feel like as long as we can continue maintaining basic life support, we're, we're good. We're good for a while, dang it. And I'm just gonna keep boosting up more and more science jobs over here. I mean, why, why the heck not? Let's just keep this going. This is looking good. And I still have a lot of room for expansion in these domes, too. Whether that be for uh, just housing or if that's going to come down to some new service. I mean, we get like a Logi amusement park. Funding Does fulfill a lot of needs. Relaxation, exercise, playing, social, blah, blah, blah. Takes a little bit of power, requires workers. So it's not as good as getting an open air gym. But I mean, like, that is a thing we could do. But I don't care about, like, any of these workshops. They just consume things and don't get me a lot, to be honest. Um, we could eventually research the gaming development studio because we apparently are now able to steal unique buildings and vehicles from sponsors. So eventually we can steal that from Paradox as a sponsor. That'd be kind of fun. Hall of Fame, supportive community. I don't even know what this does. It's definitely part of a mod. Aquarium, relaxation, social. We don't need space bars. I don't believe in giving people access to the alcohol. I don't want to give them casinos. Wait, we'll just keep purging country. that from them. I don't know. Hey, look, an anomaly. Um, all right, let's just go see what else we can get. Another breakthrough. Be still my heart. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? We get interplanetary learning. What does this do? I don't remember. Can train workaholic and hippie? Oh my God, gimme, 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 gimme. I want workaholic and all of my children. Forget religious training or nerd or something. I don't care. Teach them all to work themselves. You know, actually, no. Keep the religious training, right? And then teach them workaholism. Protestant work ethic? Very, I don't even think Poland is Protestant majority. But like, yeah, that's the one we want. Okay, the learning is done. Um, 
What does nerd do again? Remind me, it gives you morale boost every time you attack. Screw that! Become a workaholic. And actually, forget being an enthusiast. Become a hippie. Twice as much comfort from the gardens and the parks. There we go. Religious hippie workaholic. I mean, I know these two don't sound like they go together, but religion ties them all together somehow. It's gonna work, dang it. These are good traits. Population has hit 40. There we go, there we go. You're starting to see this pay off. It took a while, I do apologize, but we're getting there. In fact, I'm even feeling so confident that I'm willing to start outsourcing some science again. Let's boost this up fast. I wanna start getting things like triple electric scrubbing. It's such a good tech. It doesn't seem like much, but you'll see why in a second. Okay, and there it is. So, triple electric scrubbers, they are small, right? But if you're willing to invest a lot of power in them, what they do is they start drawing all of the uh, corroding dust from Mars toward it and away from all other buildings. Which basically means that um, it's going to eliminate a lot of maintenance needs for tons and tons and tons of stuff, which saves you so many materials. Yeah, it's gonna cost me a little bit of electronics to maintain this. I do not care. It is so 100% going to be worth it, especially if I can produce plenty of electronics, which we historically have been able to do, and now I'm once again producing some automated rare metals. So we take this sucker, we just increase the area like so, and it's covering a pretty massive area like this. So one electronic is now gonna save me a ton of polymers, machine parts, metals, and so on. All of this is awesome. So case in point, this subsurface heater has been turned off for a while, right? It was fully corroded. But now the scrubber has been slowly reducing this. You can see that this is no longer a thing. Look at that. So with the cold wave on the way, I'll be able to just turn this on whenever I want, and we're fine. Another anomaly that I missed. Oh, okay. Eh, it's not a breakthrough. Just new technologies and stuff, even though I'm kind of getting down toward the end of the technology tree. We found most of the stuff that I could possibly care about. There are a lot of really good endgame techs we're gonna want. Including Project Morpheus, which I believe you need in order to win the Metatron mystery, but we will come back to that one later. No sanity damage whenever working outside of the dome buildings, less water consumption, moisture farming, less maintenance for out of dome buildings, building cost reductions, yeah. All this stuff is gonna be great. I'm getting lower on those metals once again, though. I mean, this is about to improve, right? You place like a single one of these triple electric scrubbers around all your, um, like, uh, your solar panels and stuff, and they're never gonna be an issue again for the rest of the game, which is amazing. But we should definitely plan on fixing this. All right, I think it might be train time. So what do we do for that? We place down a station over here. We're gonna place down a station over here. And then we just need to get some train tracks, which actually I can't do until the station is built. Take some metals and machine parts. No big deal. I just noticed we have an automatic metals extractor. I technically do not need to send people to do this at all. We could just place these. Oh my god, have I been... You know, I've always been able to do this, haven't I? We could have just placed down a whole load of these down over here and just gathered all the metals and just used my RC transports and my commanders to just do everything. We could have done that. All right, but that feels a little bit too easy. I feel like people are already gonna be saying in the comment section that these things are ruining the game. I don't know, maybe? But you gotta admit they're freaking good. No, we'll play this the proper way, all right? We're gonna be placing down a real metals extractor over here. I feel like it's worth you guys seeing how this is supposed to work. I see we also have our medium fuel refinery as an option now, perfect. All right, so bigger refinery means more goodies. Oh my gosh, yeah, this refinery is so much better. 24 production per soul, 1.5 water instead of 8 and 1. Honestly, I'm tempted to just say get rid of this dang thing. Um, it's just kind of inefficient, but alright. Greenhouse gases are an option now. Okay, we should probably consider placing down a greenhouse gas factory over here. And we can get some train tracks set up like this. Perfect. Alright, that'll take me a bit of concrete. 120 concrete?! This is more expensive than I remember, but okay. I am running into some small issues with power. Yeah. What are the advanced solar panels? I could, I could do something with these. I don't like the idea of using up my electronics, though. That seems dumb. What are the whole um, geothermal power plants? That's something I haven't researched yet. Notice this cold wave is a lot shorter, by the way. Only like three souls or something instead. Not nearly as bad, is it? How the heck did some geologists get over here to work on the metals extractor? Hold on. The train's not built yet, guys. 
How did you get over here? I thought you wouldn't walk. I am highly confused as to how this is possible. Hey, whatever. Anyway, so the uh, tracks are fixed. Um, transport colonists. Transport everything is fine. So you should be able to construct a train. I need 30 freaking metals for that. Great. All right. Uh, supply pod time. Let's just go ahead and buy some of these dang things. We got free supply pods. They don't even cost me extra money. Okay, we finished all the research I was going for. Uh, what else could I really make use of right now? That's a great question. Let's go ahead and start picking up some of the high value ones like moisture farming and resilient architecture. And we could reduce the number of workers needed at farms? Sure, and maybe protection against some meteors could be awesome. Fusion power plants are a good long-term solution to my power issues as well. I will need that. And this is all coming together in the nick of time because I have zero metals remaining, basically. So now we have our train. All we gotta do is assign this to the track, and now we've got... Why are you sending food? What? 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 I don't want food! I don't want food! What part of turning off food do these people not understand? Seriously. For God's sake. The important thing is people are now able to work over here. There we go. Okay. We've got some geologists working. Perfect. Now we're producing 18 metals per soul. Is it a lot? No. No, it is not. But is it something that does not require the whole autonomous thing working? Yes. Am I slightly proud of that? Also, yes. And thanks to the triple electric scrubbers, we have cut our maintenance down substantially across many, many, many things, which is going to be phenomenally useful. Power's looking great. Water's looking great. Oxygen's looking great. We're producing... Eh, I turned off the polymer factory. I guess we can go ahead and turn this back on. Population has gone to 54, and we finally have a dang senior. Hold on. We'll reassign you to live over here and then move to the Bengal fields. You served your time longer than any of your predecessors, but you must now <laughs> go and... Throw yourself into the void, but there we go. I think we have now finally hit that point where everything should start really coming together. Gotta keep an eye out for the metals, but as long as we can keep this going, we are in really, really good shape now. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, make sure you hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.